What's up folks, we're back, and this time we're gonna be focusing on procrastination. And by that, I mean that Jalen has been telling me for the past couple months that we need a new cutting board. And it's mainly been a couple months because a little over a couple of months, I told her I would make us a new cutting board because our old one has taken a shit on us. So I figured it would be a perfect time to make a new video and to show you guys how I made this. You're probably asking, how did you make that? I don't know, I didn't make it yet. You're also probably asking, what did you make it out of? And I have no idea what I'm gonna make it out of yet. And you're also probably asking, what's the size of it, how big? I don't know, I didn't make it yet. But that's what we're here to find out and what we're here to do today, so. So let's go check my little stock of lumber and see what I want to make this thing out of.
So here's where I'm at in the project so far. I cut up my pieces of walnut and my piece of hickory. I don't have a joiner, so what I did was I just played with my table saw a little bit. I cut my walnut piece down the middle and got a sort of straight line with that and then trimmed off some of the sides with my table saw and made them as straight as I could and slowly just brought the fence of my table saw in a little bit each time just to make sure it's as straight as possible when gluing up on the seams of each of the board and I did the same thing with the hickory. Then glued it with Type Bond 3. I recommend using Type Bond 3 for anything with food or that you're gonna clean and wash so often because it's waterproof, it holds better, it's stronger, and it also has a longer, um, I forget the word for it, glue up time, I guess, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't dry as fast, so when you're clamping stuff together, you have a chance for the glue to actually adhere to both sides before it dries. Then I waited a day, took it out of the clamps, and then took it to my planer, plane both sides. Then I took my router with the straight bit and went down, as you can see there, and just made some inlays. And then I went and sanded it all with 80 grit, roughly, with the palm sander. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill these with epoxy. And I have a new color coming in the mail of mica powder. So that'll be here tomorrow and we'll keep going on this thing once the mica powder comes in and I can fill this with epoxy. Epoxy, yeah, that's the word. Well, this is awkward. See you tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow for sure. Now the epoxy's all poured, just gotta wait for it to dry. But if you ever noticed how some people get those like swirl marks and stuff in their epoxy with the mica powders, it's actually really easy to do. You just gotta pretty much wait out the epoxy. And by that, I mean, you probably gotta wait roughly 30 minutes to an hour, anywhere in between there for that epoxy to set and get just a little bit tacky and then you run either like a toothpick or a pencil or anything. I just use a screw because it's what I have most readily available. Anything with a point really, and you're just gonna go through and make your swirl marks. And what you're gonna notice is that the epoxy is gonna be a little bit tacky and it raises a little bit and it slowly settles back down. You're not gonna wanna do it right away after you pour the epoxy because it's so runny that it just flattens back out to what it was and then your swirl marks slowly disappear because the epoxy is so runny and it just loses its swirl marks as it sets again. But yeah, other than that, uh, come back after it's dry, sand it and put some finish on it. And then finally taking it to Jalen to see her reaction of me finally finishing a cutting board that I told her how I would make for her months ago. Fingers crossed she likes it.
I'm a lit PB. It might have been a couple months past due, but it's... I will give you... Okay, even though I'm really pissed that you made me wait this long, I will say this is, like, exactly what I was picturing in my head. I know her too well, folks. So thank you for actually doing a perfect square like I wanted. Hey. <laughs> there you go, folks. She likes it, so it's a win. You saw how to make one. Now you can make your own, or you can message me, and I'll make you one, too, so... Your girlfriend or wife or significant other will be just as happy as Jay was. <laughs> be sure to like it, subscribe, comment on the video, whatever it may be. Stay tuned for more stuff coming on the channel. Buy a cutting board. Buy a cutting board. So we're going to go make supper and uh, we will see you guys next time. I'm so happy, buddy. She's happy. It's a win. Bye.